Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're out here at a project and we have some old barbed wire to roll up and I thought I'd take a moment to kind of share with you guys how we roll up barbed wire by hand for those short sections. You know if you end up buying a small homestead or an old farm there's a good chance that you know you're gonna have to remove some fence and start over and this will be just a good little trick to get you going on how to roll that barbed wire up by hand. Well, lucky for us, we are right next to a road. So I recommend after you uh, pull the staples or whatever off the barbed wire that's holding it on the fence, to flip it out into an area that's clear of debris, if you can, of uh, brush, grass, as it'll get hung up in it and make it more difficult. So we have a good surface to work with. So initially start off with uh, making a, a nice circle. And I like to go about wreath sized. So about like that, and then you're set to go. Pick whichever side you like. We like to flip that little tail end of that barbed wire around there. Kind of hold it in place a little bit, like that. So just start walking it down the, the wire there. And as you walk it down, you see that he's kind of flipping it back and forth, left to right, allowing that wire to cross each other, therefore, it kind of grips itself and holds in place. If you don't do that, it's gonna come apart like a slinky. So as you can see, I recommend using some nice heavy leather gloves for this as it will chew up your light gloves rather quickly. And as you can see, he's making short work of this and that is staying together nicely. Now I'd say you can't go super long sections with this because it can get quite heavy and cumbersome there and as you can see we're only going about two three hundred feet and that's a pretty good length by hand and most times when you're doing this by hand guys there's a chance you're going to be throwing it away um, if not though you see we do have a good roll that'll work out pretty good as far as reusing yeah nobody likes to mess around with barbed wire and uh, it can really get at you cut you so just be careful and it'll grab your your sweatshirt or your clothes your gloves depends on the barbed wire there's some barbed wire out there that's really grippy this happens to be some of that really grippy stuff you see he's catching every once in a while and that's pretty normal but uh it's a it's a kind of a pain but it's what we have to do to remove it and it makes a nice little roll and we're almost coming to where we're going to stop here so we're going to cut this off and show you how he wraps that up Okay, so when you get down to the end of your stretch, go ahead and just cut or unwrap, whichever one works best for you. And then you're ready to wrap this wire. So let me get my shadow out of the way here. So there's a couple different ways we like to do it. And I think, uh, go ahead and show them the first one. And he just does one single wrap around the top of this wire. And because he's done such a good job of wrapping this roll up, it's, it's pretty tight and it will not come undone that way. However, there's another alternative way of doing it which involves leaving a little bit longer leg coming off that barbed wire as his glove is getting all tore up. And so go ahead now at this point, go ahead and flip that through there and wrap once around the top of that. And you should have enough length to go down to the bottom of the roll and do that exact same thing on that side of the roll. And just one little curl. And that's just, that's pretty close, but it'll still work, so would have been better yeah but that that works anyways so that is one way of rolling up barbed wire by hand and securing it so it doesn't come undone well like i said that's one way we like to roll up barbed wire by hand there's other ways of doing it they make some tools that'll get the job done as well however i like to use those on longer stretches so more than likely if you have an old homestead or farm with shorter sections you're going to be rolling it by hand like he is back there again and uh, those uh larger pieces of equipment would be a waste of money now if you're in commercial that's a different thing where you're rolling it up all the time it becomes really handy and saves on a lot of gloves but uh, anyways it's a helpful little tip if you guys got some old wire to roll up and you're having a little bit of trouble with it hopefully that'll help you out anyways thanks for coming along guys we'll catch you back out here on another one have a good one